All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I have been home for about a month, and obviously because from the last video, I quit driving truck for as as a company driver. So I've been in the process of switching over to owner operator, and I'm about to hit the road. I'm leaving Monday in like six days. Today's Tuesday, was it December 12th or something like that? Um, I think the 11th or 12th, but, uh, I'll be heading out the 18th to go grab my trailer. So I'm just kind of finishing things up, buttoning things up. Um, right now I'm installing my ELD. Um, I'm going to install my mount for my iPad and stuff like that. So I figured I just kind of like show you what's going on today. And, uh, yeah, I figured I'd just drop a video. It's been a while, so. Let me show you what I did real quick. Okay, so here we got the Motive ELD and I mounted it right here on top of the dash. Jump out here real quick. Um, I didn't have really a good spot to put it anywhere down below. Um, I, I was thinking about putting it right here, but I didn't want to hit it with my my knee, you know, and have it being a pain in the butt. There's nowhere to mount under here. So I just, you know, it sucks, but I got it mounted there. Routed all the way through. I had to put a little cable wire thing there. The material in their dash, like it's hard to secure the 3M sticky stuff. So I had to unfortunately super glue that piece in. So I have that mounted right next to my other dash cam. Um, and then I routed it up through and all the way over underneath the pillar and then it's just long enough to reach right there. So it worked out perfect. So yeah, the, uh, the motive install is really easy. The the cable, the motive router, and then the dash cam if you in for that option or not, it's up to you. They have, I think a couple options for dash cams. Um, but yeah, that's done. That took me probably uh, not even that long. Honestly, I just, the longest part, just trying to figure out where you want to route, route all the cables and everything. Um, and, and kind of hiding it and tucking it away. But next I'm going to do, let me get it real quick. Uh, I'm going to mount this. This is what I'm going to use for my iPad dash. I see a lot of guys throw like the cup holder thing in to hold it. But I just, that thing, well, every time I watch about, like, someone's video, it's just in there shaking like this. And I just, I don't want that happening for, with my iPad. Yeah. I decided to go with bullet point mounting solutions. It's just going to mount right up here. I already took out the little, I don't know where it went, the little pad thing that goes in there and it just mounts here. Let's get it unboxed. I'll show you guys what it all looks like. Yeah, this is the, the bigger box was the, uh, the tablet holder. So that's pretty cool. I think it's going to work a lot better than the, comes with the bottle opener. Sweet. Can never not go wrong with a bottle opener. Um, what's this? Oh, little decal. Nice, nice. I think that's everything in that box. So that's everything out of the tablet box. Uh, tablet holder, warranty card, little decal, and the bottle opener. I wonder if they all have that in the box. Sure enough, I'm pretty sure every box is going to have all that in there. So I have another warranty card, another decal, uh, instructions, little Allen wrench with screws. Uh, what is this? Keychain? Yeah, it's a keychain. Oh, keychain, cool. Look, another little bottle opener. Comes with a screwdriver, so I've got to get my own out. Here's the base. Opted for the two, obviously for the phone and the tablet. All right, I didn't open every box for you, but basically every box came with a decal warranty card and a bullet um, bottle opener. Uh, the uh, uh, magnetic mount came with this decal, which is pretty cool. It's going to be a new little uh, addition to up there. 
Um, but here, this is the uh, custom color I got with the arms. There's different color options, but my truck is obviously orange. So I grabbed some orange arms. So sweet. Let's get it, uh, let's get it installed. All right. So super easy. All you do is you take the screws out, which are the uh, OEM screws. Um, but you can't reuse them because the big old flange on them, they won't go through the hole right there. So you have two options of screws. You have the ones in this bag, and then you have the, uh, which is called optional screws actually right there, which I use because they're a little longer and a little bit of a wider flange to hold it sec more securely. So, and then it has like a sticky option. You remove the uh, two adhesive covers and then Go ahead and throw it on, screw it down, push it in. There you go. Not uh, affiliated at all with Bulletproof. It's just a really awesome product that I like. So if you guys want a better option besides the cup holder mount for your iPads out there, your hotshot drivers, uh, look into that. But uh, let's get the rest of the install done and I'll show you the uh, finishing look. All right, here's the finished install look uh looks awesome yeah um not too shabby kind of like it i'm digging it second install already done for the day pretty quick um motive vld done my uh ipad mount securements done uh there was one more thing i'm gonna do today um i'm going to build my bed so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, so got the back gutted out and the passenger seat. So basically I got a fairly thin board over there. I'm trying to make it as light as possible. I don't want a heavy bed back here. So got a pretty thin board I'll frame it out and then what I'm thinking is a foot for legs here and this is about five and a half inches so hopefully a foot and eight inches right here because if I the way I look at it I can cut more off but I can't add so I'm gonna do a foot and eight inches if it's too tall back here i'll cut it down to seven and a half um but yeah so three feet by five feet and then frame it out with uh two legs on that side two legs on this side i don't know if i want one right in the middle here um if i need it i can always add it but uh if not we'll just uh, go with that so that's the plan Got my uh, three feet line measured out. Gonna go ahead and cut it, get the legs measured out, cut. Alrighty, she's in. And you know what, for measuring one time and putting this all together, she's pretty level. I could have gone a little shorter on the back. Uh, I got a little bit of a slope, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now I gotta go get the uh, mattress, and I'm sure I gotta cut that down. So I'll get that cut, put in. But that's basically it for today. Sorry, I didn't really, guys, didn't really show you guys how like I, you know, the process and the steps recorded while I built it. I was just trying to kind of rush and get it done. But basically, got this cheap little. This was like 30 bucks at my local little hardware store. Um, the quote unquote plywood sheets, not plywood, it's, I forget what they call it. Um, uh, they gave me a four by five. I had to cut it down to three by five. Um, I did, I did uh, 12 inches in the front for the two posts and then I did eight inches in the back for the two posts. And I framed it out, 33 inches on this side, 33 inches on that side, uh, 53, 53. And then I put one in the middle for a little bit more support. But uh, 
turned out pretty good. It's nice and sturdy. It'd be good enough for me if I need to. I can add some more posts for later on, but I think it'll work just fine. Looks good. But yeah, that's all the installs for the day. I got the ELD, my iPad mount, and then my bed frame. So time to go cut the bed down, put it in, and uh, that should wrap it up for this video. So hopefully in the next one I'm headed out to uh, go get my trailer. Got to get my got to get my decals put on and my numbers and all that good stuff. That's also next week. Uh, my truck and trailer inspections next week. Um, what else do I got to do? I have to uh, put my new shocks in. It should be here sometime this week and put my shocks on. My new ones. Um, I did my brakes and rotors yesterday, uh, Saturday. Um, yeah, so next week we'll be starting some more videos. So I'll catch y'all in the next videos, guys.